everybody. Uh, I'm Captain Will from The Impossible Dream, and uh, I just got back from uh, the grocery store provisioning up the boat. So we thought since uh, everybody out there is now having to plan out their meals, only go grocery shopping the minimum amount possible, you guys might want to know how we do it here on the boat, and maybe you can get some tips on how uh, you at home can provision up for your, uh, for your voyage at home. Usually what we do is we plan out all our meals for the length of time we're going to go on. So for a week, we'll do a grid on a piece of paper, have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and we put what we're having for breakfast, uh, eggs and bacon, a uh, sandwich for lunch, uh, chicken salad for dinner, and we do that for all those days, and that's how we develop our shopping list. Um, something else that we have on the boat is uh, staples, things we always uh, use. Um, fresh uh, vegetables and tomatoes and that kind of thing. Uh, bananas are always good. Avocados. And then we have uh, citrus, which is very important for uh, protecting the immune system. And uh, also, you wouldn't want to be getting any scurvy. That's an important consideration on the boat. Um, also, we have uh, a few things that we get as backup meals when everything else fails. We know we have our old standbys. And they're actually, they save a lot of space, too, because we're very compact on this boat. We can't bring a lot of food, so we tried to bring our as compact foods as possible. So uh, staples, we have oats. These are steel-cut oats, instant ramen, which is great, with uh, broth, chicken broth. You can also use bouillon, which is very compact. This is probably equal to 20 of these. Um, we have dried beans, soak in water. This beans will last you for a couple weeks. And with the beans, rice. So we have our backups, um, our pasta, our pasta sauce, and uh, always on the way out of the grocery store, we grab some limes. Uh, they're great again to fight scurvy, and they also work good in a cocktail. Here we have some canned foods. This is uh, peas and tuna. Every boat has to have a can of tuna on board. And uh, these two mixed together with a little bit of onion is one of my favorite dishes. It's uh, Italian. Tono e Pizzelli, and it was, uh, well, we're going to make it for you one of these days. We'll tell you the story about Tono and Pizzelli. Hi, I'm Paulina. I'm the first mate here on the Impossible Dream, and it's usually my job to stow all of the provisions that we get for each trip. So I'm going to show you some of our storage spaces and how we get everything to fit. Sometimes, especially if we're going for multiple days at a time or multiple weeks, it seems like not everything is going to be able to fit properly but um we always make it work so this is our pantry drawer um so this is all we have as far as the pantry and it's kind of like putting a puzzle together um basic ways that i organize is that all the backup meals and canned stuff goes in the back because usually we eat those last because they last forever and then anything that is perishable or any snacks, because I know our crew loves snacks, that's going to go on the front and in top. Um, and then it's pretty much just up to me to know where everything is. So when somebody wants something, I know exactly where to go to find it. So another storage space we have is our fridge. Another thing that is much bigger than it looks. It looks pretty tiny, but it goes way far back. And we can usually fit everything we need to in here. Although sometimes we have to take everything out to get to the thing in the very back but it goes way back here so last storage space for food is our freezer another hidden compartment and another thing that is bigger than it looks great for keeping bread so it will last a little bit longer storing any prepared foods and throwing that fish that will definitely catch in the gulf stream when going north fresh herbs are a great addition to every meal uh, on the Impossible Dream, we try to keep a basil plant at all times, and uh, this definitely saves a trip to the grocery store.